In this video, I am going to try and provide you with a cost analysis, what the difference would be for a conventionally framed roof for a garage. This is going to be a 20 foot by 20 foot building. So a typical two car garage with two by four collar ties, a two by four strong back going down the middle and a couple of braces some 2x8 blocks, 2x8 rafters, 2x10 ridge. Now the first thing I want to point out is that these material prices might vary from um, state to state uh, and country to country. I did this, it is March 4th, 2020, and the prices might be different in your area. So keep that in mind. Same thing with the trusses. I took all this information off the internet. I went to a couple of the big chain home improvement centers to get the pricing. And uh, my personal experience is that it's always going to be cheaper for someone like myself to cut the roof and build it conventionally than to order the roof trusses. And um, in, in this example here, we have a 25% savings in the total overall cost. And we have no wait time for the trusses. I've actually experienced wait times uh, for a truss. You know, you're talking a month or two. It, this could be brutal as far as just conventionally framing something if you can. Smaller buildings like a 20 by 20 foot garage is going to be um, it's going to be cheaper. You start getting into a 30 foot building and you don't want any beams, um, supporting beams in the middle of the roof to to help support the roof, um, no beams in the garage. You want it to be completely open. You have a 30 by 30 foot building. Roof trusses are probably going to be cheaper. And I say that I will do another video. I'll put a link here if I ever do get it done. So we'll start right there. We'll stop there with my promises and go on to the what we have here. We got about $330 in rafters, another $50 in two by fours for the rafter ties. And then I figured about another $100 in blocking the ridge, um, plus delivery, tax, delivery, and other fees, about $480 in materials. I figured about 10 hours to build this roof, a savings, a total of about uh, $880. So we'll stop right there. We have a total price for this, $880. If you can frame it um, quicker than this, um, if you can get the materials cheaper than this, if this is going to take you longer, if the materials are going to cost more, you would actually need to figure that out on your own to see if this is going to be worth it to build the roof conventionally instead of using trusses um, in your area. Now let's take a look at the roof trusses. We're going to need nine on the inside, two on the outside and about $65 each, $83 each. If we figure this up, we get about $750. Plus, we're going to need to add the tax, delivery, and other fees involved. And then I figured another $50 in material, 2 by 4 We got blocks, a brace here, and then, of course, we're going to need some braces coming off of here. And I don't think I drew the braces in that we're going to need there. I figured about 8 hours. $40 an hour. If you can find somebody to work cheaper or you're working for free, um, then uh, it's going to uh, save you a few dollars there. So you can figure out the materials, but just the materials here, we can see a big difference without the hours. You can see a big difference in the overall cost. And like I said, if you can figure out, if you know how to, to cut the roof rafters, you can figure it out and you know how to build the roof, um, you're probably not going to be able to beat it. Conventionally framed roof for a 20 foot by 20 foot garage is going to be the way to go. And a lot of times for me, I just don't like waiting around for the, you know, I order the trusses and they tell me they're gonna be there on uh, March 18th and that means uh, June 21st. Just don't like that. Now let's take a look at the framing give you an idea of what it might look like. 24 inches on center. We have two end gable end trusses. 24 inches on center. These are the inside trusses. These are going to be spanning from wall to wall. A gable truss doesn't. The weight of a gable truss is going to be transferred down 
through the wall framing. But these trusses, the weight is going to be transferred to the end of the building. So that is it for our, our video. Hope that uh, it makes sense. And don't forget to do your own cost comparison. I'm guessing that uh, if you are going to build a garage in your area and you don't know how to uh, figure out the roof rafters, then the trusses are going to be the best way to go. You're going to build it yourself. You'll save the money on the labor. If you're going to hire somebody to do the job and um, you don't know if they know how to um, frame a roof, again, the trusses are probably going to be the way to go. So trusses versus conventional. Someone like me, I know how to cut this stuff, and I could probably shave some time off of those hours I gave you too. I mean, I remember framing one of these uh, truss roof one, one time. We had the trusses, and uh, I think I had all the trusses standing in about an hour. So, And I'm not saying there wasn't preparation into that. Don't get me wrong, but uh, it just didn't take me a long time to um, throw the truss roof together. And when I say that, uh, it took me an hour to uh, put the trusses have them all standing probably took me another four hours to put all the backing in and all all the rest of the blocks and uh, the braces.